Have you ever wondered what would happen if you accidentally put brake fluid in the gas tank of your car? Probably not. They're not really that closely related. They do serve a uh, very different purpose. Brake fluid is used to amplify braking power in hydraulic brakes of cars, motorcycles, lighter trucks. Now gasoline is obviously needed to make, in our case here, a car go forward or backwards for that matter. Brake fluid, the complete opposite. So in today's video, in the spirit of science, we're going to try to find out what actually happens if you put brake fluid in the gas tank of your car. Now the volunteer that we have in today's video is my 1998 Chevy Prism with over 218,000 miles. If this car can make it with brake fluid in the gas tank, I would think that most cars could as well. So what we're going to use for today's video is Prestone Dot 4 brake fluid. So we don't have just one bottle, we have two. I'm going to take the cap off of both the bottles here. And as you guys can tell, they are brand new. Nothing but brake fluid in here. Now before we start this experiment, we're just going to start her up. So we got about a quarter tank of fuel left here. We got 218,121 miles on the car. So let's get some brake fluid in there, shall we? All right, let's start with putting the silo in here. Now we're gonna remove this little plastic um, cover. <laughs> and then we're gonna start pouring. All right, so that's bottle number one. I guess there was a little bit left there. And now for bottle number two. All right, so that's two full bottles of Presto Dot 4 brake fluid. And the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, I guess, just check to see that it actually starts. So far, so good. <laughs> so I guess uh, all that's left now is take her out on the road and um, see how long she lasts. So what we're gonna do is just start driving home. I'm about probably 10 or 15 miles from home right now. And uh, pretty much all highway and I don't really want to get stuck on the highway. So uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, this car is uh, not in the best of shape, but she's a good sport though for these experiments. So to my understanding with something like this, <sighs> okay, so it's smelling weird. The injectors can definitely get clogged, and also, of course, the uh, the fuel pump. But I'm not a uh, mechanic, so uh, there's probably a whole bunch of other things that can break that I don't really understand right now. It's definitely smelling weird. Of course, I can't relay that on video, but it is a, a pretty strong, um, I don't know, exhaust slash oil smell. All right, so we've gone for a few minutes now, and uh, still, the car is not acting weird whatsoever. <laughs> I wanted to start the video at a starting point where I had about 10, 15 miles to drive home, and then my plan was just to start driving home and see what happens during that distance uh, and time. Now, if the car is still running when I get home, I'll probably just leave it in the driveway overnight and then we'll continue this video the morning after and see you know if it starts or if there's any difference in the car at that time. So now 10 minutes into our drive, the smell is 
very strong. It smells like the car should be filled with some kind of toxic smoke. It's really strong. All right, we're coming up to a red light here. Let me get this window down. Uh. All right, so we just got home. I parked the car in the driveway. It's still running. <laughs> We're gonna give it overnight here and then we'll see uh, what shape it's in uh, in the morning. And just like that, it's the next day. Today is actually Thursday and let's see if this baby starts up. Now, obviously I have no idea if it would make a difference for this car to be sitting overnight. Uh, I think it's more about driving it that's gonna give us an effect on this brake fluid in the gas tank. She just starts right up. All right. Guess we'll just take her for another drive. What a champion! The smell is still here, but uh, it, it's got to be because there's some kind of leak in the exhaust underneath me here or something because it's always smelled kind of funky although it smells a little more funky now but the car is still running <laughs> I gotta say I'm a little impressed I'm a little impressed this is a piece of junk right here and uh, we've taken it through some hell and it's still not skipping a beat. Weird, man. Weird. Forgot, can't open the door from the inside. Hmm. So this has got me slightly confused of why absolutely nothing is happening. So I'm gonna do some research. So, after doing some research, I've learned that there's a possibility, at least, depending on what brake fluid you use, that it actually mixes with gasoline. So what I did here, I bought another little bottle of brake fluid. As you guys could see, I put some gasoline in the glass here. I'm gonna put some of this brake fluid in there. And it kind of looks like I just mixed vodka with, uh, I don't know, some kind of lemonade or whatever. They do mix pretty well. So I'm thinking that's why nothing is really happening because brake fluid is not oil per se. It's not like it's a much thicker substance that just falls to the bottom of the glass, AKA the uh, fuel tank. And this is complete news to me. Again, I'm not a mechanic, so uh, I, I didn't really think of stuff like this beforehand. I just figured, you know, brake fluid, how can that be good for a uh, gas tank? All I was really thinking about was how long is it gonna take until the car breaks? But in hindsight, I guess this sort of turned into more of a uh, actual experiment and figuring out what actually happens if you do something stupid like this, like putting brake fluid in your gas tank. And from doing some reading online, it seems like people have actually made this mistake a few times before. I read some, some guy somewhere, he said at least that it was his wife that accidentally put it in the fuel tank thinking it was octane booster. And their mechanic told him to just keep driving and then keep topping off the tank, keep driving, topping off the tank. And that's what they did and it turned out to uh, not have a problem whatsoever now in the hoopty it's not like I had a full tank of gas it was just a quarter tank and I put two big bottles this is a smaller one in there so I figured you know that'll definitely make a difference but it did not so so far the car is in perfect condition now this is a very very old car with most likely very very old fuel pump very very old injectors I mean, I, I don't have the service records of this car, but I doubt that they've been 
replaced recently. So if this car can take putting brake fluid in the gas tank, I'm pretty sure that most cars can. So that's gonna conclude this video and this experiment. What happens when you put brake fluid in the gas tank of your car? I was actually hoping that it would break because that'd be funnier, but this actually turned out to be pretty interesting. So uh, I guess that the experiments will continue in the hoopty and more videos are to come. Why don't you guys leave suggestions in the comments of what we should do next? Should it be something else that we're putting in the gas tank to see what happens or should we take it on a different experiment? I actually already have something in mind, but leave your suggestions and uh, I wanna see if you guys come up with a better idea. So that's gonna do it for today's upload at least. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you're stopping by this channel for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram as well, at Autovlog, for updates on what's going on on the channel before it's actually on YouTube. Until next time, bye-bye.